This is our automated retransmission copter, and the goal of this project was to try and take the place of an OE254 or a retransmission unit. So, with the electrical engineering department and the computer science department, we teamed up and we worked on making an autonomous quadcopter that would retransmit a signal and take the place of a field unit that would have to go out and conduct that on its own. It's amazing to me as a grad of 76 that these guys are giving project explanations of things that I can't even spell. So this is the uh, Joint Cooperative Unmanned Systems Initiative. It's a joint project with Air Force and Navy. We have two pack bots that are going to be able to communicate and interact to track a target and be able to give commanders on the field more information uh, while operating autonomously. In our day, we had nothing like this. A service member's ETS from the military and reintegrating society. What are the resources for health care? What are the resources for employment? Uh, here's an example of our hydrogen powered fuel cell car. We, the military academy, have generated a number of projects that are implemented in the field today. Some of the ones that I've seen today may soon follow that pattern. Uh, I graduated back in 1968. I'm not sure I could get into this institution today. And if I did, I'm not sure I could graduate. The, the, the level of performance of these young men and women is extraordinary. Uh, they are doing fantastic things and it's gratifying to me as one of the graduates who makes contributions to uh, the margin of excellence here at the Military Academy to see the money spent so well, so wisely and so well.